Hello Fit Fam, welcome. I am going to show you exactly the meals that I have throughout the day being in a fat loss phase. I'll also share some tips for you if you are looking to drop body fat or having healthier habits and making better choices when it comes to nutrition. You all know that nutrition plays a huge part when it comes to working towards a fitness goal, especially if your goal is fat loss. Nutrition is important. I typically prep my protein sources as well as my staple such as rice over the weekend I have my bases covered then usually on the day or just before the meals I will add in the veggies and I'll portion it out and I'll put together what I bulked prep it's just more fresh in this video I'm going to show you meal by meal being in a fat loss phase I usually have my meals planned it's typically the same every single day from Monday through to Friday on the weekends it is a little bit more flexible a little bit more creative be more versatile that I don't eat the same things every single day over the week it works so much better for me because I don't have to think have the exact same meal over the weekend I will have that flexibility to be more creative if I wanted to I am a simple girl and I'm very minimalist my calories at the 1700 mark please do not copy what my calories are this is tailored towards me if you want to know what your calories and macros are I do have a free guide which you could download it's completely free it is in the description box I'll pop it in there download it go through the steps and you will find out your macros and calories tailored to what your goals are if that is fat loss or building muscle I will show you what 1700 calories look like on a meal to meal basis the first meal which is a protein spread with crumpets I use the <laughs> custard, I was gonna say casein. I, I've, I've also, I've always called it the custard protein. This is from Muscle Nation and uh, I'm not sponsored. This is a really nice custard. I like the texture, it's quite thick. I usually have this with unsweetened almond milk. I'll make the spread, then I'll spread it on crumpets with coffee. This is my unconventional kitchen. I don't have a proper kitchen bench. Usually I would prep this the night before. It is so simple. I don't prep it over the weekend because it literally will take me two minutes to whip up the custard protein. I really enjoy the texture. So many different powders out there to make a spread. I use custard protein because I like the texture, I like the taste of it, and it spreads really well on my crumpets. I need to get my scale weight. I do weigh things because scoop is in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, I've got the scoop. Sometimes the scoop just, I can't find the scoop, but if you are in a fat loss phase, it is ideal to track everything. It's more accurate and I want to get to my fat loss goals, then tracking is more accurate. You could get to your goals faster. I've been having this almost every day. When you do something every day, it just becomes quicker. If you've just started tracking your meals or doing something for the first time, and this is why I don't like always mixing things up or, you know, it's nice to be creative and whatnot. I get that, but for someone like me, I just don't want to think. I know exactly what I'm having. I'll just go bang, bang, bang. It saves me so much time. I just don't have enough time to keep coming up with different ideas. So I will pop in 20 and also I'm using this spread because I also want to up my protein make sure that I have protein in every single main meal I also add in the sugar-free avalanche just to give like that chocolatey taste the unsweetened almond milk it's unsweetened and it's really low in calories as opposed to water I just find almond milk gives it a much nuttier taste the more milk you put in the runnier the texture is just depending on the texture and how you like it I like it quite thick just so that it spreads on the crumpet really really well it's still quite thick and like you want to make sure like that it mixes everything in so that needs they need a little bit more liquid in it. I just loosely track the meal. Make sure you go really slow because if you go really fast, you could make a mess. I will do this overnight and then I'll just pop it in the fridge so tomorrow morning I don't have to spend time to make it and I like it quite chilled. You could do it on the morning if you'd like. I like this check texture. I'm not sure if you could see. 
it's not too runny too it could take you two minutes two minutes so i don't prep this on the weekend so i just do it the night before i have been having these crumpets and what i'll do in the morning is put in the toaster i have my own coffee machine i will have coffee i'm not going to make it now obviously because it's not coffee time i only have one per day i will have milk lab this is the best almond milk for coffee i've been having this for many many years i don't even drink normal dairy milk i think i'm lactose intolerance i'm not going to make my coffee now but i just want to give you an idea of me just having this because this also contains calories i do weigh out my milk when i have the coffee this is basically my meal just a spread toast this tomorrow and then coffee this is my first meal a couple hours later just before i go to the gym i will have two boiled eggs this is my first meal <laughs> So moving on to meal number two usually i will already have done a training session i'll come back and have my second which is my biggest main post-workout meal i have already prepped the rice over the weekend what i'll do is portion this out i've already prepped my protein on the weekends with the veggies i've already pre-chopped them usually i try to have about 300 grams i don't specifically weigh each one of them it's just an average of three to four hundred grams of veggies steam this fry it a little bit just to give it that taste then i'll portion this out the the protein with the carbs that will be a meal do that now and i will show you what it looks like I also wanted to mention quickly, I have been having carrot, so it's carrot, <laughs> which is finely chopped with cabbage. This will be added onto the rice to give it that extra volume, especially when you are in a fat loss phase. When you incorporate this into the rice, it adds the volume, which makes you feel fuller for longer. Like a little hack with the rice, it just adds the extra volume. That's why I've chopped it so finely. This will be mixed into the rice to add the volume and this will just be separately cooked all right so let's get cooking veggies are being steamed i will portion out the protein as well as the rice portioned out the protein as well as my carbs sauce and then I'll just pop this in the microwave and then add the veggies this is what the oh <laughs> this is what the veggies look like I'm just gonna fry it and add some seasoning flavoring to it to make it taste nice because I wouldn't be able to have it just bland My second meal that I have do a little close-up shot with the rice and then the veggies on the side this is what I have for meal two which is my post-workout meal the second big main meal which is my dinner I have prepped this over the weekend that I'll portion out I usually will have pad thai and i've got my veggies what i'll do is on the day i'll chop these up fry the, the pad thai noodles put it together in a main meal and that is what i'll be doing right now
my dinner is tzucchini pad thai stir fry kind of <laughs> last night. I don't know what it's called. It really makes me feel full. I really do enjoy this meal because of the volume. And especially if you are in a fat loss phase, you want to be including more volume foods. My lunch, my dinner, these are my two biggest main meals of the day. All right, so I totally made a mess behind the scenes. My last meal for the day, this is sort of, I would consider my winding down supper before I go to bed. This is like a treat meal that I help me wind down. I really enjoy this last meal. I really do look forward to it. My suggestion for you is when you prep your meals, make it taste tasty. Add seasoning, flavoring. I love dark chocolate. I make sure that I have it in my daily intake my budget for the day. If you want to know how to calculate your macros and calories based off your goals, go and download the free guide in the description box below. I will have, it is a sugar-free drinking chocolate from Avalanche. I'm sure you could find low calorie drinking chocolate at your supermarkets, wherever you are residing in this world. I'm from Australia, so I'm an Australian supermarket. Sugar-free does contain calories. It's a smarter option if I um, lower in calories because you need to be smarter with your calories especially if you are on low calories make it fit your daily intake of the day because goal is fat loss you need to be in a calorie deficit I could opt for a regular drinking chocolate which could probably be a hundred calories whereas this one I believe is 60 calories I'm not, I know that it fits my intake of the day so I'll have 250 meals of unsweetened almond milk and then I'll pop this in and I'll, I'll heat it up in a stove I'll pair that drink with can you see that? Let me know in the comments below if you are a 95% gal or man. It is an acquired taste. I will have two blocks. I don't have the whole thing. I will section it out, wind down, listen to calm music just before I go to bed. I'll have two blocks with the hot chocolate. If you need to hit your protein target, supplement it with protein powder. I use custard. This is a different flavor. I have like three different flavors. So the one that you saw was cookies and creams. It's got the crunch crunches that I really enjoy. So I'll have this again, but I'll make the texture a little bit thicker just to make it more of a shake as opposed to a spread. Pretty much what I have in an entire day. I hope that you found this video helpful and has given you some inspiration, given you ideas on how to prep. It all comes down to planning in advance. I bulk prep my protein source, the rice over the weekend and on the day or before the meals, I will steam and cook the veggies just so that it retain its freshness. I'll put it together into a main meal. I don't snack because I know the meals that I will be having. My breakfast is something that I genuinely look, look, genuinely look forward to because it's sweet and it's coffee. I love coffee. Towards the end of the night, I have dark chocolate because this is what I look forward to. I would make it fit into your daily calorie budget and it all comes down to planning in advance. Make it fit. Let's just say if you enjoy chocolate or if you enjoy chips, maybe you could portion it out, make it fit so that you're not restricting yourself. You have that portion you could work everything around that it all comes down to portion control being a little bit wiser when it comes to your calorie budget for the day I do have a guide that I put together it is the ultimate macro cheat sheet where you are able to see the macronutrients of the foods that you're having as a shopping list that you could take to the grocery shop inside the guide there is a template for you to use where you could write down your grocery shopping list as well as plan out your meals day to day the guide in the the description box below.
for and you want to see more of these style of videos don't forget to like and subscribe otherwise be sure to watch this video next where I give you the top six fat loss tips that are super simple to follow and I will see you in there bye for now